Hi guys. I recently moved to a C4 with the C4 and C5 statics to roll some holes for fun and test new things. I was a bit bored. Um, figured out of curiosity to try the new Paladin in the C4 Frontier Barracks sites. Um, I believe they are the best sites in C4. Um, and needless to say, I was pleasantly surprised with the with the recent Marauder patch and how it affected the, say, Paladin, for example. I don't know about the other ones, but Paladin probably is the best one in C4s. So I bought a somewhat decent fit Paladin, anchored tower, then anchored Astrahos the next day, rolled some statics and went to work, as you can see. It turns out the DPS that increased from the last Marauder patch is completely broken in C4s too. Um, even with the bad spawns. Um, I remember people used to crab years ago um, with like a very expensive less shanks C4 sites and that would get you like 300 to 500 mil per hour maybe solo but it was very expensive and it was a nightmare to do so nobody really did it. What people used to do generally if they want some ISK when they live in C4s um, is crab the C5 static uh, which would usually be uh, Leshak and Nestor balls and depends who you ask but say on average um, not very good fits not very great skilled characters they would get you like 300 million isk per hour per Leshak and Nestor so uh, wasn't too good of an income and it would require you to have the C5 static in the first place uh, which not many corps actually or groups did. So when you used to live in C4s you were quite starved for ISK, how to make ISK for PvP, like if you want just to like live in a hole, do PvE things and whatever, it doesn't really matter, but if you want to PvP you need some income, and which was a problem um, before the Marauder patch looks like. As a ballpark figure, you always looked at when you farm in wormholes with subcapitals, it's 300 mil per hour um, until you got dreads. But as I said, this buff changes things, it looks like quite a lot. Um, I'm not much of a PvE person, but I obviously need to make my own ISK as well for PvP and skill injectors and alts and everything. Um, so, um, figure to try it out, see, maybe I like it for. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I took this Paladin, which wasn't even that great fit, um, and I actually managed to hit 750 mil per hour pretty much doing the C4 sites, um, not the C4 sites, specifically Frontier Barracks. I think the other sites are a bit lower, I don't remember top of my head, something like 500 mil per hour or something, which is still out nearly a double a Lashak C5 what it used to be, so it's still really good money. Obviously the interesting thing is, so you used to farm in before the scarcity, you used to farm in C5 with triple dreads mostly, people used to do it. So triple dreads uh, would get you minimum 2 bill per hour, um, could be up around 3 bill per hour if you know what you, you, what you are doing and if the skills are good, fits are good, approximately, I don't know, I didn't do too many of them, but approximately that's what you would get. So the interesting thing is that this changes completely everything, because now you can do the same ISK in C4 side, which is like bonkers, and I'm assuming you can do same or more in C5 right now with Marauder. So obviously the big difference is for a dreadnoughts, you used to you need years to skill the dreadnoughts, then you needed like crazy amount of money, set up alts, move them in, find the holes and all everything, so uh, like you needed strong, then you needed bullets, then you can be called, because if somebody rolls then you are dead 100% pretty much, and these days the triple dread setup is at least 25 bill pretty much, somewhat decent setup that has some alts at least. Uh, probably you're looking at 30 bill if you actually wanna 
be as safe as possible with both sides are pretty quickly for a triple dread. So for a comparison, the mar if single dread right now is about 8 bill, decentish fit with the refits and everything that you need, the paladin is 2 bill in this C4 video. So like, like what? How does this make any sense? Plus, you can't be caught. Essentially, you can't be caught. You have to be really unlucky or falling asleep while watching Netflix and grabbing to get caught. Because the rats don't scrum in C4 sides even. In C5 sides they scrum. Um, so that's a bit unfortunate, but there is a way how to get rid of it as well. Which I'll show you in the next video. Um, so yeah. So basically this entire fit and uh, implant set pays off in 4 hours of C4 grabbing. Um, which is pretty quick, it's not too quick, but it's pretty quick. Um, th obviously, as I mentioned before, like you shouldn't lose it. So if you already have an ISK and you can afford to buy it, and you understand the game more or less, you understand that statics need to be rolled or put an eyes on, on holes or something. Like, don't even need to roll the holes with this. All you need is just basically a hair on, on every hole, and then if you see that somebody is coming, you just like wrap it up. Um, so you shouldn't ever lose it, that's for sure. So essentially you don't have to make up the ISK that you have invested into this. Because if you change your mind, you want to do something different, you just sell what you have. Except the implants. But the implants, the nice thing about these implants, so say if you would have gotten a golem for example, or a varg or any need, would need a crystals. So the crystals currently are absolutely awful to own. Because the problem with crystals is that for PvP there isn't much use of it. Any decent ship, shield ship for wormhole skirmishes requires an X type shield booster pretty much. So battleship or something, right? Then but that X type shield booster is 900 mil on its own. So, and because of the surgical strike that resists on Earth so hard, even the rattlesnake tanks like 2.2 or something like that, usually. Which makes shield not really viable, so you don't really want to have that clone anyway. But there are Sclapians, for example, uh, that you use here. You use them always, everywhere, anywhere. Demas, Brutix, Megatron, Hyperion, Kronos, Paladin. You can make a PvP Paladin as well, crap it in it even. There is tons of utility for the Asclepians already. And some of you already probably gonna even have them. Like for example, I have here. I don't even have mid grades here. I think I have some load grades or something. Like really cheap. I used to have like 300 mil clone or something. After a surgical strike because you can't tank anything these days. Um, so yeah, um, but that 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 really kind of works out really nicely. Um, so I didn't try to push any limits, um, if I can do these sides more optimal or even faster or anything, I just tried this and I was like, wow, um, this is a bit nuts. Um, so yeah, um, hopefully, hopefully piques your interest as well, because uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty great stuff. And 700 mil per hour at the very least if you get even with a cheap fit or you don't know much what to do yet. Um, still gets you a ship or two for PvP adventures, or a couple hours get you an Omega, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, just wanted to share my findings at the end of the day. Perhaps living as a small group or solo duo in a C4 with the C4 static plus any other static isn't as bad of a meme as it used to be, because it used to be awful. Um, so yeah. So here is my Paladin fit that I was using here, I believe, approximately, more or less. Um, I think I used the green smart bombs here, but only when I was rec uh, recording the video, I noticed that the frigates in these sites actually don't orbit at 7.9 kilometers. Uh, or 7 kilometers, whatever. They actually orbit at 5. So you need like 5.5 kilometers smart bombs, so you can make, sh make it actually even cheaper. So T2 smart bombs would work, 
I don't think Vehemences would work. As I'm pretty sure it's only Tito's Marcoms or higher would work. Um, so that makes this fit even cheaper. Um, also, this fit should work with Marauders level 4. Um, it should work even with Marauders level 3. Um, if you have low skills. Um, the only thing is with Marauders level 3, I believe on a second or third wave. That would be on a second wave. Um, because the incoming DPS is going to be about a hundred more than you should uh, your tank is. So what you would need to do with level 3 Marauder is heat um, either your Epper for a cycle or two or your guns. And basically just kill uh, quickly one battleship in a second wave. So if you are struggling with a tanking or something like that, in a second wave kill one or two battleships first and only then kill cruisers and then finish the last battleship as a trigger. So that sh still should be doable. And if you are a bit more experienced, I'm pretty sure you're gonna remove some more tank, put some more application on it, and just use heat, target, target priority um, as needed and do it even quicker. Also, currently there are boosters. Um, they've been out believe for a couple months at least I was using a couple months ago in Pochum different boosters different name I don't know why are they in game but they are in game and they give like crazy amount of DPS increase for energy turrets which is what we use um, so buy them the level twos boosters they cost not even a mill a thing and yeah just use them constantly and there is also a booster that gives you a capacity region which you don't really need but I just take it anyway why not it's half a mil or something a pop and also it helps with like say you forgot your smart bombs to switch them off and uh, there is heavy newting wave so that would be second wave and you could get capped out in theory right if you are completely careless <coughs> so the booster helps negate a bit that as well um, also perhaps you have really low capacitor skills that could be a thing but like the boost that these boosters are really great they last like five hours or something silly like that so just please buy them a lot and use them um here is also escape frig fit in case you don't have any i don't know if this is good or not it works it has two prop modes cloak probes filaments that's all you need really so if you manage to die ever and you're bubbled just overheat mwd and just burn out, warp out, simple as that, save your clone. Um, yeah, here is also a blink fit paladin fit that I came up with as I was editing the video. <laughs> editing, implying I actually did anything here. Um, yeah, so I think this should work pretty easily. Obviously it pushes your DPS even higher, you don't have any tank modules because you don't really need them. You have two utility mints. You can use two tracking computers, grapple, scrum, web, anything you want. I personally prefer scrum web or a web grapple or any of these combos just in case there is a saber that drops on you so you just quickly kill it. You have a heavy new to new out as well the tackle. So otherwise because paladin really sucks with the tracking. So if you get tackled, what's gonna kill you is not, not being able to track your target to, to get out. Um, but if you wanna just zoom ISK and hover the sides, then just use like two tracking computers essentially and that should, that should boost your speed even more. Like it should be quite a significant difference. So yeah. All in all, all fits are in the description below. Um, have any questions, um, just ask. Uh, you see the character names, uh, just leave a comment and ask something, I will reply. Not a problem. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, you, I'll do a few sites here, you'll see. Uh, so if you want to stick around and watch the rest of the sites I'm doing, be my guest. Just just to say, I've recently tried the C5 as well. 
Um, and it's not Paladin specifically, because I, I went with it because uh, instant ammo switch and instant application don't need any hauling of ammo or anything like that, bullets, torpedoes or anything, it's a bit obnoxious like all of to hold that. So you don't really need it, so it's really comfortable with Paladin. Um, the reason behind it, I'm not sure, maybe it's even the best one. It could be actually, theoretically, maybe the Vargor would be the only one that's better for sights. Uh, probably C6 is exclusively, I would say C5 probably still should be a Paladin. Because uh, less capacitor problems. Um, and the Golem, obviously, for the drifters. Um, yeah, the Golem is quite be uh, definitely best for drifters. Uh, but yeah, I've tried the C5 and I've tried a few comps and ideas and just see how it feels and how much risk it gets. And <laughs> it's completely broken. Like, uh, you can easily hit the triple dread. Uh, isk per hour with like three four paladins easily and obviously you are not sieged so there is a plus cheap relatively cheap is to buy all of these things and the kicker is that you can make it absolutely 100% safe you cannot be caught in a site or a by a drifter or by players so I figured that one out not sure if it's the intended or not looks like intended so I'll be sharing that in the next video with you guys about the C5s and how you can print this completely free in a European peak time time zone, people's hall, doesn't matter. As long as you know what you're doing, you'll be fine. So yeah guys, uh, hopefully something interesting for you, something to think about, maybe you like it, maybe not, maybe you even enjoy it, who knows. Um, so yeah. Peace. Oh, and also, guys, by the way, you can buy 10 Cyclones fully fitted for one hour of crabbing in a Paladin.